we talk about prototyping, we're talking about giving people the space and time to materialize and concretize their ideas. Prototyping brings an experience to a vision by creating objects of dialogue and designs that can afford interaction with people and place. This is in order to evoke debate and to capture the potential risks involved with innovation. Prototyping is at the core of distributed design, an emerging concept looking to support redistributed, situated, localized forms of designing, crafting, and manufacturing within a global network connected through digital platforms. Prototyping can be applied anywhere in order to redesign new realities at all scales, from the bottom up to the top down, Prototyping can be used to design systems that are in line with societal values and are adapted to the expectations of users or citizens. In order to create these systems, policymakers not only have to diffuse a culture of design and ideation by adopting new tools and workshop formats in their internal practices, but they need to go one step further by supporting and funding local actions while actively taking part in prototyping in both top-down and bottom-up innovation processes. Basically, new structures for design at local and global scales need to be created and institutionalized as well. In this way, we can ensure local dialogues and frequent bi-directional exchanges are afforded this could be around needs, uses, designs, as well as existing versus future impacts. I would like to emphasize three emerging infrastructures that, that are key to materializing and promoting prototyping at the local scale. These are labs, digital innovation platforms, and open and inclusive design processes. So first of all, let's look at labs. Labs are ambassadors of prototyping. They act as key educators, change makers, and gap bridges. In Syscode, there are three types of labs that jointly experience prototyping, mixing visions and approaches from their networks. First of all, we have Fab Labs, like Fab Lab Barcelona, and they support prototyping by making digital fabrication accessible and by creating communities of makers. Next, Living Labs. Living Labs create and use prototypes to define the user's best experiences. Finally, Science Centers. Science Centers co-design and use prototypes as objects to enhance knowledge transmission and critical thinking, to open innovation and to debate societal controversies. Those labs need to find their places locally in each territory and they need to find their, their local model. It needs to be created, sustained and effectively developed their, to their activities. Their implementation is still fragile and it's highly dependent on the context and acceptance. One key role for local stakeholders, and this is specifically for policymakers, is to be consistent when looking at their own ecosystems and propose adapt poli adapted policies to better connect with local initiatives and institutionalize labs in the territories. This way they can act as vectors of co-creation and places for prototyping any type of system. Even if labs promote easy access to technology, fast development and fragility, they are still facing some limits to support bottom-up processes, grassroots development, and to help users connect their ideas in order to improve the quality of prototypes when slowly moving from lo-fi to hi-fi demonstrators. In other words, prototyping comes with costs and mutualized efforts have to be done to enhance the possibility and value associated with innovation for all. Next up, let's look at digital innovation platforms. So these platforms can support social innovation and citizen participation by opening time and space for developing pilots, experimentations, 
and system prototypes. Digital innovation platforms expand the possibility and reach of individual labs by connecting, raising and supporting shared practice and ideas at distance through networks of like-minded actors. In FabLab Barcelona, we have many projects that diversify and expand bottom-up innovation from initiated in, in our lab to platforms. These may take many different forms and all ensure that the limits imposed by physical labs can be surpassed. These platforms are aimed at being adopted in various contexts locally. While, as in the distributed design model I mentioned earlier, are connected at distance via digital means. This means that they need local ambassadors and policymakers that understand their reasons of being and support their integration, their use, and their co-development locally. Next up, let's look at open and inclusive design processes. When we're reflecting on how to integrate prototyping into our individual practices and our territories, it is not just about finding a place to open a lab or starting to use digital innovation platforms. It's about guaranteeing transparency and inclusive knowledge exchange by our open source and, access and accessible processes. A case for exploration here is Repensem 22 at. This is a city supported process of citizen participation to jointly rethink the existing urban strategy in the face of the current social, economic, and, and urban challenges here in the Poblano district where FabLab Barcelona is situated. 